Hello, wonderful people of the internet, and welcome... Bro, come on, you're throwing me off my groove. No! You threw off my groove! Hello, wonderful people of the internet, and welcome to Shazire. And yes, I know that Skyrim is considered an old man by gaming standards, but don't you ever say that because it is blasphemous. Blasphemous, I say. No matter how many grey hairs he gets, no matter how many wrinkles, Skyrim will always be young at heart. I may have got slightly carried away in that description. Just don't listen to me. Actually, no, you should probably listen to me because I'm about to explain this Let's Play. <laughs> um, so, obviously, I'm playing Skyrim and I'm going to do a Skyrim Let's Play. And it's going to be very, very different from my other videos in that it's not going to be heavily edited. I'm not going to be putting funny little sounds and clips in because I feel like it would ruin the atmosphere. Because I am going to roleplay my character. I'm going to roleplay a character called Myra. Um, which I'll explain more about her later. But I feel like it'll be a lot of fun. But I also only want to do this if you guys find it enjoyable. This is just the prelude video. Um, so please don't form an opinion until you've seen the first episode. I'll make three. If it's getting positive feedback, I'll keep making more. If not, um, I'm still going to be making my other videos on top of this. But if not, I'll drop it. I just feel like a let's play is a really good way for us to get to know each other better because you'll be seeing an unedited, mostly unedited me, which is slightly horrifying. <laughs> um, and this is a very interactive game. So you can tell me in the comments what to do, what decisions to make, what guilds to join, stuff like that. Um, I'm really excited about it because I love Skyrim. In terms of mods, there are two that you really need to know about. I'll leave the whole list in the description. First one is I'm using Requiem, which is a gameplay overhaul. Makes the game a lot harder, but I like it that way because I have a sucker for pain. Number two is the Succubus race because Myra is going to be a Succubus. It's a custom race that's not initially part of Skyrim, but it's really fun to play. And it also ties into her character. So I'll explain a little bit about her first. She has a playstyle that's a mix between Thief and Barbarian. Now let me just... Before you click away, let me explain. She, when she's in her human form, she's very sneaky, she likes to strategize, she'll use poisons, uh, bow and arrow and daggers. Um, she has a habit of picking into unsuspecting pockets and then running away and giggling. She's a bit cheeky like that. Um, but when she's in her succubus form, which she doesn't have that much control over, she will sometimes randomly transform. Gives me an excuse to go have a rampage. Um, yeah, she is just charging in, head on, bloodthirsty, where's it at, she's at the fight. You get what I mean. Um, in terms of her personality, she is very overconfident, which isn't good because she also takes anything as a challenge and she loves the challenge, but she doesn't like to lose them. Uh, she gets bored very easily and distracted very easily. Just so she has a lot of unfinished business back in Cyrodiil, which is where she came from. Um, she does have a good heart. She, it's a bit of a reluctant good heart in that if she saw a house on fire and there's someone inside, she would save them, but she would grumble about it the whole way through. Yeah, and like I said, she is um, she's very, very curious. To the point where if she heard a strange noise inside a cave, she'd investigate. If she wanted to know what was in someone's wardrobe, she'd break into their house and she'd find out. But at the same time, she will always justify her actions. She would never consider herself a criminal or a bad character, by any means. Oh, yes? I'm in the middle of talking. Exactly what I'm trying to explain. Oh, Myra, you suddenly look very mannish. What just happened? <laughs> um, I've made a preset for Myra already. Um, I can't explain what she's like when I'm staring at this Nord man. <laughs> I forgot to turn, oops. All right, say hello to Myra. Um, I tried to go for a bit of a thiefish look here because I don't usually play a thief criminal character and I've always wanted to, so this is like the perfect opportunity to have a bit of fun with, with you guys watching. Um, a bit of a background on Myra, she, her parents died when she was young 
and therefore she went to live with her auntie on her auntie's farm. Her auntie was quite strict, very focused on work, like on working the farm, and Mara was always very bored. And when she was 10, she decided to run away because she's like that. She's a bit rebellious and a bit wild-hearted, this one. She doesn't take kindly to authority. And you will respect my authority! I'm not going to be putting funny little sounds and clips in. Um, and she ran away to Bruma, which is a place in Cyrodiil. And she was an urchin for a while there. That's where she learnt most of her skills, most of her talents. And then at 15, she became a mercenary. So it's pretty, pretty simple backstory. But there's a lot of like hidden stories within the backstory. I don't want to go into too into too much detail now though. Oh no, I forgot to put the scar. Oh, whoa, hang on. Guys, I forgot to mention the most important things about her. Okay, she's petrified of bears because, you see that scar right here? She had an unfortunate run-in with a bear when she was young and she came away with this scar. So she's absolutely petrified of bears petrified and she is really addicted and i mean really addicted to sweet rolls and meat and i actually have a mod that um if i don't have those things within a certain amount of time i get negative side effects so i'm not just saying that it's going to be heavily enforced she's addicted to sweet rolls and mead which is okay because it's a video game i don't condone large amounts of alcohol otherwise mm. for the youngins out there <laughs> um yeah, Maid is how she got herself into this situation in the first place. She was just, you know, she went to the inn with some of her mercenary friends. Oh, and by the way, she's 22. She's been a mercenary for a while. She's not 15. Um, she's, yeah, 22. She went into the local inn with some of her mercenary buddies. They had a bit of a drinking challenge. And you know what she's like with challenges. So she took it a bit too far. And the rest of the night is a bit of a blur. She remembers craving mud crab soup. She remembers being kicked out of the inn. And she's fairly certain she stole a horse. Doesn't know who from. And she's pretty positive that she crossed the border. Charged the border, I should say. Into Skyrim, full speed, brandishing what she really hopes is a sword. But suspects was probably just a pointy stick and yelling about how she was declaring war on old mud crabs. She remembers being chased. Then everything went blurry and hazy and she kind of came to on the back of a, I was about to say truck, but that's wrong time frame actually, wrong time frame. On the back of this cart, her hands are bound. She's obviously been captured and she's with these strange men who kept trying to talk over the top of her, she's assholes. <laughs> Okay, so that is Mara's backstory. That's who she is. Obviously, her character will um, develop more as we... Oh, hair clip! Hair clipping! Develop more as we um, play the game more. If you want me to change anything about her character, if you want me to like alter the playstyle a bit, uh, change her name, let me know really soon, because I am going to start playing the... I'm going to start playing her character like within the next um within a couple of hours of when this video will be up but i'm excited for it i really hope you guys are too um yes so that is all i have to say and i will come back to this point in the next video thank you all for watching Mwah!